Welcome to Transformational Vedic Astrology. Today we're going to look at the chart for Roger Stone, who is uh, a lobbyist, a political advisor to many of the uh, Republican past presidents. So, uh, we, first we see that when he was born, if you look at the horizon, uh, you see the constellation associated with the sign Taurus rising at t 2 degrees and 24 minutes. This becomes the most effective point of every house uh, within his chart. And any planets like Rahu and K2 that are within 4 degrees uh, of that most effective point, Venus also, Moon, Mars, um, let's see here. So those are the main ones. They have a great impact in his chart. So we're, first we're going to look and see how the planets are operating, and then we'll see when they're operating. Uh, and then we'll look at um, any um, remedies that could be helpful uh, for Roger Stone. So, uh, this is a rectified time. Uh, we don't know his exact time of birth um, at 22 uh, hour and 51 minutes. Um, but let's see how this all works out. Uh, so, uh, first we want to see if there are any malefic planets. Um, so, for Taurus, any multicona sign, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11, that you find in the 6th, the 8th, or the 12th house, their rulers become functional malefic. So here we see Libra, the 7th sign of Libra, in the 6th house. So Libra is ruled by Mercury. Mercury becomes uh, a functional malefic. And then we have the ninth sign of Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter becomes functional malefic. And then we have the first sign of Aries ruled by Mars, which becomes functional malefic in the 12th house, along with Rahu and K2, which are functional malefics for every chart. It doesn't mean that they're going to cause harm, but they can cause harm. The other planets are benefics in his chart. So let's look at each of these planets. Sun is at 11 degrees. It is ruling the house of family and happiness, um, and it is placed in its own house. So this is very powerful for him. It gives him great leadership um, uh, abilities, great abilities in politics, um, great abilities to be an advisor, which, which he is. Um, and it gives him confidence, uh, the confidence of very powerful uh, men to be a lobbyist and a political advisor. So now we see that um, I said Libra was ruled by Mercury, Mer Mercury, I meant Venus. So Venus is malefic. So Venus is in that house there. So uh, Moon is at six degrees and it is ruling um, the house of um, business and communications and that's really a big part of uh, what he does. Um, now Moon is um, also can bring controversial speech. It's, it's um, barely within five degrees of K2 so some a little bit of an affliction. Uh, it's conjunct K2 so can being a little affliction. Oh wait a minute, excuse me. It's conjunct Mars. So that can bring controversial speech and communication. So um, Merc uh, Mars, again, is at, uh, ruling this house of uh, separations, imprisonment, uh, hospitalization, and also enlightenment. It is placed in this uh, seventh house of relationships. So it brings controversial relationships as well. Uh, can have uh, addictive issues and sleeping issues as well. 
Um, yeah, and uh, Mercury uh, is ruling this fifth house of um, education, and it is also the house of children and uh, investments. So, uh, being here in this house, uh, it, it, it is, has some weakness, so it also brings controversial speech. So then um, Jupiter is at 27 degrees. Remember we say it's fun functional malefic. It, um, and when it is functional malefic, it, it means that you can operate si outside the norms of uh, normal, the legal -ish, uh, system. And so he's kind of on the edge of a lot of things that he does. Now, being the ruler of this, this eighth house makes him kind of um, have influence in the shadows, behind the scenes. He did try to run for office one time, but mostly he's just an advisor in uh, kind of a, uh, in controversial things. He, he's called the dirty trickster, which means that he's influenced many, many campaigns to win by, you know, controversial or what they call dirty politics. Um, He's, yeah, very secretive, um, conspiracy theories, uh, he believes in them. Uh, Venus is at 29 degrees. Any planet that's more than 25 degrees or less than 5 degrees becomes weak. So, uh, and it is also a functional malefic because it rules that 7th sign of Libra. And it's... Um, so it can bring some health issues at some time and a lot of conflict in his life. And it's placed in this house of happiness. Um, so bring some conflicts um, to family and um, relationships and also can uh, have some health issues. Saturn is at 19 degrees. It uh, rules the house of career. So... Saturn is that planet that has to do with service. He feels like he's in service to advise uh, in politics, although he made a lot of money doing uh, lobbying um, foreign governments uh, and dictators around the world. Um, but yeah, Saturn gives it, him ability to be an advisor. And um, it also, um, because... Uh, it is placed here. Um, it, it means that he can educate or advise people. Rahu and Ketu bring desire for independent entrepreneurial activities. Ketu is here. Um, and, um, you know, desire for good fortune. Strong influence of others. Um, so let's see here. He's right now in a moon Rahu period. And Rahu can bring uh, ambition and desire. And, um, and then moon is, you know, ruling this house of business and communication. So it can, on one hand, it can give um, a lot of attention, which he likes, um, but also can bring unexpected events like he was uh, indicted um, and we're going to look at the date he was indicted and what was going on with the planets so let's do that right now uh, he was arrested on January 25th uh, 2019 and if we look at the transit chart uh, here, the inner circle is where the planets were when he was born, and the outer circle is where the planets are today. So we see, um, or actually the day he was arrested or indicted. So we see that um, Rahu and K2 are right at the most effective point on that day. So that means they are afflicting six out of his 12 houses. So the the third house of business and communication. 
relationships, career, and then K2 is afflicting good fortune. One, two, excuse me, I, I, I meant good fortune, not career. So his, his uh, um, he himself, uh, the self was afflicted. Business and communication. And also uh, investments, education, and children. Yeah, he did only have one child, um, and uh, he had did have two marriages. So anyway, on this day we see that a lot of affliction through K two and um, Rahu, and Rahu is also afflicting natal Mars. Mars representing imprisonment, separation. Um, controversy. Um, so you see how that could be affecting things. So uh, those are the main points. Now let's look at what we could do to um, improve the chart. So if we could strengthen all of the benefics. So we can strengthen Sun. Um, but it is his strongest planet. It is in Multicona, and it's it's well strong and well placed. But from time to time, it does get afflicted, and um, so strengthening that would be beneficial with a kavash or wearing a ruby. Um, you could strengthen Moon um, because it is debilitated and weak, um, which gives that controversial speech. Um, by again wearing a kavash, which contain it's a locket that contains the um, Devata Yantra for Moon, and then you could strengthen Mercury with a kavash or wearing um, an emerald. Moon could you could wear a moonstone and wear white clothing, green clothing for Mercury. Yeah, uh, orange color or sun colors for, for, uh, clothing would strengthen sun. Um, so the rest now Saturn you could wear dark blue or a blue sapphire to strengthen that. Now the malefic planets we need to transform. We don't want to strengthen those. We don't want to strengthen the the, the challenging planets. So K two helps spiritual organizations. Uh, Rahu, you could help uh, those who cannot help themselves. Um, Jupiter, again, spiritual organizations, listening to Ganesh chants, listening to Shiva chants for Rahu and K2, or Ganesh for K2. And then you could, um, for uh, Venus, uh, you could uh, wear white clothing, help women. Um, and listen to Lakshmi chants on Fridays. So those are the main points of the chart. Um, if you're interested in a reading, you can go to www.vastucreations.com under services, under astrology readings. Um, if you want to learn transformation Vedic astrology, as you can see, it's very simple but very direct. You can go to AmericanInstituteOfVastu.com and uh, you'll see uh, under, uh, you can become certified as an astrologer uh, going through the courses on that website. Thank you for listening.